I ask that we gather any supplies being fit we may need for our session here today. Um, we might use a yoga block, also a blanket if that feels good for you, and maybe even a bolster pillow or some type of pillow from your sofa. Now these are all optional items. We do not need them, but it's a nice option to have if it feels good for you. Maybe even grab something to drink to stay hydrated in our session here today. And once we gather our supplies, we're gonna find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose, any easy seat that feels good for you. May you find your position. I am sitting in a half lotus. As we are using our easy seat to help relax and wind down the mind and body here. Ensuring that the spinal cord is nice and elongated, meaning we are not sunken. Having control of that back helps create extra space in the belly for baby. It also helps with lower back pain. So keeping that back elongated with the shoulders relaxed downward away from the ears. Sometimes we may feel tension in our shoulders, in our neck. Simply being mindful of relaxing those shoulders down could help ease and soothe some discomfort in the upper parts of the body. As we slightly gaze the eyes downward towards the earth, we'll close the eyes if that feels good for us. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. Breathe in. Exhale. Being mindful to not hold our breath in prenatal yoga. We don't hold the breath, no breath retention. Just gonna breathe in, exhale. Placing our palms on our laps or our bellies. We're coming, we're coming into prayer hands if that feels good for you. As we relax, silent meditation, five natural breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, relaxing the palms downward towards the earth as we are using our palms to tune into our environment. Taking a moment to notice what is going on around us right here, right now, in our present moment. Simply being aware. And during our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds. We may become distracted. However, may we only allow in what is comforting and soothing for us in our practice here today. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Lower our palms above our heads and our salutes. Fingertips flows up towards the heavens. Shoulders flows up towards the ears, elongating that spine. Interlacing the fingers with that pointer finger pointing up towards the heavens. Allowing the arms to slightly flow towards the back of the room. Their heart chakra is opening. The chin is up. Four breaths. You'll feel this in your lumbar spine. Two more breaths. Exhale into center, separating the palms, coming into that seated, extended mountain. We're going to slightly twist the body towards the right, a slight, small twist, keeping in mind that we don't want to go deep in our twist, especially when we have big bellies. As we bring our palms downward towards the earth, we're going to slightly gaze over that right shoulder. We are in our seated twist. Three breaths. Exhaling back to center, we're going to come into a seated star. Palms are outward towards the side. We're going to slightly twist our bodies towards the left, not coming too deep in that twist. Breathing our arms downward towards the earth as we gaze over our left shoulder. Spinal twist, opposite side, three breaths.
exhaling back to center, coming into that star, breathe into that extended seated mountain, breathing our palms together, exhale to salute, palms come heart center, exhaling back up to our extended mountain, palms are separated as we slightly lean our bodies towards the right, feeling that side bend. We're feeling that stretch in the side body, shall I say. And if we choose, we can lower that right hand down towards the earth to help with comfort. Going as deep as you choose in this side bend. Allowing that hand to flow over that head a little deeper. Shoulder, right shoulder comes down towards the earth. As we gaze up at the heavens, four breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into that seated extended mountain. Leaning the body towards the left. Feeling that side stretch here in the side body. Optioning to bring that left hand down towards the earth to help with comfort and relaxation. We can go deeper in this side stretch by allowing that right hand to come over that head a little deeper. That left shoulder comes closer to the earth. Gazing up at the heavens, if that feels good, opening up that heart chakra, four breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to center, coming into that extended mountain. Breathing to our salute. Exhale, prayer, palms come heart center, relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. Gaze forward, taking nice subtle breaths. Two breaths. Feel in the breath, go in. Exhale through the mouth. Inhale around. Exhale. As we breathe our feet into a bound position, coming into a diamond or a butterfly. The bottoms of our feet are connecting. This here is a hip opener. It preps the body for labor. It also creates extra space between the thighs if we have big belly. So I'm gonna sit here if that feels good and just notice how this hip flexor feels within the body. And if we choose, we can slightly hang at the hips just a little. Ensuring that we're keeping that back straight. We don't want to be sunk in. Nice, elongated spine. Hanging at the hips. Maybe allowing those shoulders to melt forward if we're able. If the tummies are big, we may not be able to go so deep into this hinge forward, forward. Because we don't want to squish baby. So listening to your body and only going down if you feel comfortable enough to it. Otherwise, we can just relax in our diamond or our butterfly. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Coming back up to our diamond or our butterfly, if we were hinged at the hips, we're going to straighten our legs out to the side, nice and wide legged. We are in our wide legged seated stretch here. With our toes pointing upwards towards the heavens. Backs are straight. We're going to slightly hinge at the hips just a little. And when we hinge at the hips, you'll feel it behind your legs here in your hamstrings. But we are working on stretching and lengthening the body here. Trying to keep our joints and our ligaments nice and stretched in the back. Ensuring that we are not overstretching. Keeping in mind that we have that relaxing hormone going on when we are pregnant. It allows our bodies to bend and move in ways it doesn't normally do. But just be mindful to not overstretch. I'm going to hold this pose and sit with it for a couple more breaths. Maybe pointing the toes downward towards the earth now, creating that ballerina's foot, pointing those toes down if that feels good. Our backs are still straight. 
Chin is up, heart chakra is open. Two more breaths. Coming back up to that staff, just stretching that body. We are no longer hinged at our hips. We're gonna take this left hand to our left toes. We're gonna slightly lean our bodies towards the left. Feeling that side stretching. You may also feel that behind your legs and those hamstrings. We can gaze downwards at the earth, bringing our head towards our knees if our bellies are not too big. We can keep that back straight and slightly gaze over that right shoulder. You may feel that spinal twist when you gaze over that right shoulder. However we may be in this pose, whatever feels comfortable for us in our bodies, we're gonna hold the position for four more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale and back to center. As we connect our right hand to our right toes, feeling that stretch on that side body. Bodies are leaning towards that right thigh. Maybe our head relaxes downward towards our knees. Or maybe our bellies are too big. We can be sitting up slightly, slightly gazing over that left shoulder. Or whatever variation of the pose feels best for you. Or breath. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center. We're going to breathe our legs slightly inward. We can come into a complete forward fold, seated forward fold with our feet together if that feels good, or we can be slightly in that forward fold if we have big bellies. We're going to hang out here and just relax and seize and hinge at the hips on our forward fold. Either our feet are slightly apart or maybe they are together. Or maybe we're just gonna hang out here in our staff pose. If we have big bellies, we can't go into a forward fold, right? So if this is a prenatal flow for all trimesters, like in our first or second or thirds. So being mindful of how it feels and keeping in mind that my voice is just a guide, we're gonna do what feels best for us in our body. Either, either we're in our forward fold, half forward fold, or staff pose. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling up to our staff pose if we were not already there. We're gonna cross our feet at our ankles. We're gonna come onto our hands and our knees coming into a tabletop pose. Placing those palms flat on the earth. Knees are hip distance apart. And we're gonna drop our bellies downward towards the earth. You'll feel this in your lumbar spine. This is nice relaxation for the lumbar, the lower back. It's good for low back pain. And if we choose, we can do a couple of hip rotations here at our hips, just relaxing and soothing our, our lower spine here. Just feeling the rotations here in our hips. Or we can stay still here in our cow pose. Whatever feels good for you with that chin slightly up. Four breaths. Two more breaths. If we're rotating our hips, we're gonna come to a still. We are in that cow, chin is up. Exhale to cat, breathing that chin to clavicle, spinal cord flows up towards the heavens. We are mindful of how we tuck our bodies, babies and belly. We don't want to squish. Three breaths. Two breaths. Come back to cow. Exhale, cat. Coming back to our table. We're gonna breathe our 
right leg towards the back, right leg flows towards the back here. Yes. Both palms are flat on the earth. And we're gonna come into a sunbird pose here by extending that left arm forward. So right legs to the back, left arms forward. For balance, we can lower our right toes downward towards the earth. As we are gaze forward, we are still in our sunburn. This is just a nice variation to help us with balance if we need. Three breaths. Two breaths. Coming back to table. Gonna drop to cow. Exhale, cat. Flowing back to our table as we sunburn opposite side, breathing that left leg towards the back, feeling that stretch. <sighs> Extending that right arm forward, we are in that full sunburn, optioning to lower those left toes downward towards the earth for balance as we are gaze forward. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back to our table. I'm gonna drop down to cow. Exhale, cat. Coming to our table, relaxing here. We're gonna come into a wide-legged stance here. We're gonna flow into a wide-legged child's pose, bringing our tummy between our thighs, or a wide-legged puppy pose with our buttocks high in the air and our torso comes down towards the earth. Our arms are extended in front of us, making it into an extended child's pose or puppy pose with our third eye chakra, our forehead, connected to the earth. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale, in a relaxation. So either in our child's or puppy, we're gonna relax, silent meditation for seven natural breaths. Three more breaths. Mm. With our palms flat on the earth, we're gonna spinal wave our bodies out of our child's or puppy pose. May we do three to four spinal waves. Finding our pose at center, we're back in that table. We're gonna push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at the feet. Mm. Walking our feet towards our hands, complete forward fold or half forward fold. Keeping in mind that we don't wanna be in an inversion for too long to cause dizziness. So complete forward fold. Just consider an inversion, head is downward. Or we can come into a half forward fold. Now we're not quite in that inversion. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling up to our Tadasana, our mountain pose. Palms are at our side. Fingertips are flowing downward towards the earth. Heart chakras open, chin is up. With our feet planted to the earth, with our head, our mind, relaxing in the heaven. Now we take a moment to simply go inward, focusing on where we are as we are planted, as our minds go beyond as we create the new, as we work on the future of 
baby with them. Patiently anticipating the arrival. Knowing everything is going to be okay. There will be a way because there is a will. Working on our future of being mothers. Parenthood. Maybe we already are parents and we are extending our family, whatever it may be. We are planted, we are rooted in our present moment. As we are also flowing beyond our, our present moment with hopes of the future, with baby to be. As we throw our palms above our heads and our salute, palms together. Feeling that stretch, interlacing the fingers, pointing finger points up towards the heavens, arms flow slightly towards the back of the room. You'll feel this slight back bend for three breaths, two breaths. Exhale and back to center. Come into our prayer, palms heart center. Relaxing those shoulders downward away from the ears. As we slightly hinge at the hips, step forward fold. Creating that stance, if that feels good for balance. Exhaling down to complete forward fold. Walking our hands forward, down dog, gazing at the feet. Coming on to our knees, we are in our table. Dropping down to cow. Exhale, cat. Coming back to our table. We're gonna cross our feet at our ankles. We're gonna come onto our buttocks just for a second. We're gonna float onto our backs. Hugging our knees into our chest. Chest. Wide legged knees. Three bellies. Two more breaths. We don't wanna apply too much pressure on our vena cava. Placing our feet on the earth. Knees are in the air. We're going to come into a bridge pose, lifting our buttocks off the earth, using our hands to lift that buttocks up. Feeling that gluteus maximus crunch. Once we take our buttocks off the earth, we are leaving some of that pressure from that vena cava. If we feel dizzy still, we may roll onto our side, coming into a fetal pose. Otherwise, we're going to work that gluteus maximus here in our bridge pose, feeling that pulse. Breathing our body downward and exhaling it back up. We're exhaling it down, inhaling it up. Keep feeling that squeeze. Exhale down, inhale up, feeling that squeeze. We are working on rounding and lifting that booty as maximum. Holding it up for two more breaths. Exhale back down, hug your knees into chest. Now when our knees to flow towards the left, the front final twist. Left side, knees flow to the left, right arm comes up to the side, at the lowercase t. We can gaze up at the heavens or we can gaze over that right shoulder. Still in that spinal twist as our shoulder blades melt back into the yoga mat. Five breaths. more breaths. Exhale and back to center, hugging knees into chest. We are wide legged. Meaning breathing our feet, breathing our knees towards the right. We find spinal twist, right side. Knees close to the right. That arm comes out to the side like a little pinch key. We gaze up at the heavens or gaze over that left shoulder. Our shoulder blades melt to the back of the yoga mat. Eyes are going down. We're going to be back here. Solid meditation. Five breaths.
Exhale and back to center. Hugging the knees into the chest. Wide legged knees to the chest. Coming into a happy baby. Feet comes up in the air. Hands between the thighs, out towards the side, connecting into the feet. We are in that happy baby. You may feel a little pressure here. If you have big bellies, if that's the case, we're going to grab our bolster pillow here. We're going to place it underneath our butt up. This is going to help with the pressure on the vena paper as we are in our happy baby. Or we can always option to roll onto our side and come into a fetal pose if that feels best. So happy baby or fetal pose. This happy baby, if we are in this position, is also a hip opener, prepping and preparing the body for labor. Our fetal pose is a nice, beautiful relaxation pose. We will follow that pose after this pose. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling out, coming into a wide-legged knees to chest. As we roll onto our side, whatever side feels best for you, fetal pose. Placing that pillow that was underneath your buttocks between your thighs for comfort. You can place a pillow underneath your neck if that feels good. We can use your hands as a pillow. And we're gonna gaze our eyes downward and close our eyes. Placing our palms on our bellies if that feels good for you. In our fetal pose, we are imagining the fetus that is within the tummy. Taking a moment to simply just envision the baby with that. Relaxing the mind and body as we are connecting to the fetus here in our fetal pose. Or maybe it's baby, depending on how many months we are. We're simply just Relaxing here, focusing on self, baby, and our present moment. Six breaths of time. Slowly wiggling our toes, rotating our feet and our ankles to awaken the body. Maybe we are moving our hips and our butt. Or we can, we can option to stay in our fetal pose if that feels good. Otherwise, we can come into a fetal pose. Any seated pose that feels good for you, maybe find your position. I'm going to come into a cow face waves. As we are using our fetal pose, if we are in that, or we are using our seated position to simply just check in with mind and body. Noticing how we feel right here, right now, in our present moment. Being aware, without judgment. Placing our palms on our tummies or coming into a prayer hands, if that feels good. Gazing down at the heavens with the eyes closed. As we take a nice breath in, exhale through the mouth, inhale, exhale. Noticing how that breath feels within the body. Noticing how it relaxes and soothes. Four more breaths of silence.
I would like to thank this time for allowing me to guide you here today. I would like to thank, I would, sorry, my apologies. I would like to take this time to thank you for allowing me to guide you here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for stuff. May we always find ways to find our comfort and peace. May we always find ways to relax the mind, body, and soul when needed. Listening to the needs and the wants of our intrinsic energies. Resting when we must. For as we know, we cannot pour from an empty cup. We must take care of ourselves if we want to take care of anyone else. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste.